Hey guys, it's Aaron. Uh, I want to take a look today at a functionality that's actually been around for a little while. It was released before 2020 went live, um, and that is Live Components. So Live Components are a function of SketchUp Labs. SketchUp Labs is an opportunity for us to work with you while we develop new ideas for SketchUp. So rather than wait through the entire design programming, testing, release cycle like you would for a normal release in SketchUp. SketchUp Labs lets you guys get involved and actually work with these portions of software, these ideas in SketchUp before they go live. So that brings us to live components. Um, we'll, I'll put a link down to SketchUp Labs, the forum, in the description so you guys can check it out and learn more about that. Not dismissing that, but we got to move on to the stuff we're here for. Live components. So live components are taking the idea of components or even dynamic components and going a step further. This is giving you actual like controls over how pieces are created, how they're made. Um, we're gonna take a look at how to configure some of those right now. So right now, there is a set number of live components. As of this recording, there's 68 of them that you can work with. Uh, we don't have authoring tools available right now, but right now you can look at how, how live components work and use them through 3D Warehouse. So let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is go into 3D Warehouse. I'm just going to go click the 3D Warehouse button right from inside SketchUp Pro 2021. Um, and the easiest way to get to live components that I found is to come here and click on the search. So the search is going to bring this window up and if I drop all the way down to advanced, I have a little checkbox that says show me live components. Turning that on is going to show me all the live components. I'm going to come over here and click to models, and there we go. There's our 68 live components. So what these are are uh, existing models that have parameters and controls applied to them that allow you to go through and make changes to them. So let's look at a couple of these. Let's let's start with something simple. Let's let's look at a couch. So here I have a modular couch. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to pull it up in what you would consider a standard. This is a 3D warehouse view. There's nothing really too different about this except for two things. One is this little lightning bolt. That lightning bolt indicates that this is a live component. So all live components will have a little lightning bolt in the corner. And I also have this button which says configure. Configure is going to pull up my controls to allow me to make changes to this component. Let's go ahead and click on that. And that will pull up a view of the model, which is, I mean, this is the 3D warehouse view, you guys have seen this before, this allows me to kind of spin around, zoom in and out, look at the model. Uh, nothing too crazy here, but then over on the right, I have some controls. So some controls here are gonna change depending on the component I'm looking at. So in this case, with my modular couch, I have options like configuration, and I have some preset options here. Um, let's see what this looks like as an L-sectional uh, with the ottoman option. When I click that, it's going to reconfigure and see, oh, all right, I see how that's different. That's cool. I like, I like that look. Um, I also have little sliders here that allow me to change the size of the cushions. So I can change the base width and depth, like a little, little deeper seating. I like that, uh, as well as the colors. I can also do things like turn the base on and off. Uh, like I said, the options that you have over here are going to change depending on the piece you're looking at. So you see when I change, turn the base off, I went from two different options for colors, the base and the cushions, to just a cushion color. So I change that to black. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so once I configure it to the point I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And just like any other model from 3D Warehouse, it's not connected to my cursor, I can drop it in the model, and then from there I can move it wherever exactly I need that to be. Pretty cool, looks good, but uh, I want more than just a component dropped in my model. If I have that selected and I come over to Entity Info, Entity Info, of course, is the floating window in Mac. It's part of the default tab bar on Windows. I have a new button, which is Configure. If I click on Configure, that'll actually pull up the same settings I saw online in a brand new window. So now I can see when I have this selected, say I want to turn my base back on again, so I can go ahead and click that, and then that will pop back up and then I wanna change my base color to brown. That's what I was looking for. So you can see that once it gets in here, it's not done, I'm not just creating dumb geometry. Uh, I am actually keeping my configurability inside there 
as a, a live component. Let's, let's do one more. Let's take a look at one more component. Let's go ahead and go back up here. Um, another way to get to this list is to look at the SketchUp Labs models. If I click on SketchUp Labs, it's going to show me those. I'm going to turn to models again. And let's, uh, let's look at stairs. Stairs are always a good one for me because um, I like stairs, but there's so many pieces to them that they can be time consuming or tricky to model. Arrays are nice, it helps, but uh, especially when it comes to looking at my options and seeing how I want to do stuff, uh, live components are pretty nice. Watch this. So once I get in here, this is, this is my, my default values right here, um, but you can see I have a lot more options than what I saw over there in the couch. And this is what I was talking about. Yes, I, I can and have modeled several stairs. We actually had some videos on stair modeling, but it is so nice to be able to come in here and say, okay, what's the overall height of my stairs? How many landings do I want? Do I want lots of landings or do I just want to go straight set of stairs? What's my tread length going to be? And you can see how it's, this is the thing about stairs. You make one change to one of these values and it changes not just like one step or something like that. It's actually the entire run. Changing my tread length makes the stairs longer. Adjusting the height also means I require longer length to maintain my tread length. So it's nice because I can change all these values one at a time and I can actually see them change as I do that. Really cool, great way to create this geometry. And then like we were saying before, as soon as I'm good, I can download it and actually drop it right into my model. And like I was saying, this is, this is the part I like, is the fact that once it's in here, I can come back and configure it again because maybe something happens in my model. Maybe the, the first floor gets taller and I need to add height to it. With a live component, I can literally just come in here and drag these things around. Um, maybe I want to add additional stringers, something like that. I can just do that with a real quick change and then all that geometry gets modified. So that's an initial look at live components. I'd love for you guys to go try it out, go grab it off of warehouse, configure it, drop it in, make some changes, that kind of thing. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of it. And I'm going to link, like I said, I will link to the forum post specifically for live components. So you can tell us there. You can leave a comment down here too. We'll do our best to pass it along. Um, but let us know. What do you think of live components? What do you think of, of them as they exist now? Are is there any missing? Is there something from live components that we don't have that you need? Love to hear that sort of thing. Uh, and if you like this video, go ahead and click on like down below. That way we know we're doing a good job. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, like I said before, leave us a comment. What's cool about live components? What could we make even better? Will you use them? How will you use them? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.